Hey, the best squad. It's your girl, Ebony, the best. Guys, okay, so it's the last time I'm going to talk about this because I think that I also um, had jumped the gun with this one. But before I get started, let me start by saying everything I'm about to say. It's alleged. It's in my opinion. And it's all for entertainment purposes only. So y'all see what's going on on these YouTube streets. We have a young lady that came up by the name of Carson Blue who was on these, you know, party or invite of Letitia Scott. Um, apparently, Melameda's us, we got into it and realized that, you know, she was friends with Coleslaw, um, and we ran with it, right? So, last night, apparently, she went live. I didn't get to see the live. I fell asleep. However, she brought out some receipts and, um, you know, just kind of, like, changed my perspective, um, um, regarding this entire situation and, um, you know, I'm believing her that this snap chick, this former man chick, this same chick who, you know, and I should have paid attention because y'all remember when Kosla said in a live, I think she was having a conversation. I think I still have it where she was letting these two people that was talking to her know that Martel and her had done some things that she can't even repeat. Now, when I hear um, Miss Carlson speaking on it and saying how Coleslaw allegedly was talking to her about releasing some sex tapes, it brought me back to this conversation. So this is it when Martel and Melody was going back and forth at it on social media. And this was an article that was written in TMZ um, wrote it. It says, well, Martel clapped back at Melody comments by revealing that she slept with 20 over 20 plus during their marriage. In a series of Instagram posts, Martel said. Who was watching the kids when you got pregnant twice and had two who was watching the kids when you were performing blank and blank uh, six to seven years ago? And and on the reunion, when I can't remember who was watching the kids when you were taking flights to D.C. to see the same ninja, then come back to come back to me. Martel then went on to list a few people his ex allegedly slept with who was watching the kids when you were with the attorney. He also accused Melody of sleeping with his frat brother. Now, Mar Martel had posted something and Melody was like, revenge porn? Really? I pay attention to promises, not threats. I have four kids some kind of way with you hashtag whack so martel had threatened to post um porn of i don't know if it was her and him but he did said it and melody came back with the attorney and she said five four three two one she was gonna call her attorney then after that she made this other post and said hashtag typical for the one saying I ain't never been quiet ever to you about to see how quiet I've actually been. So, yeah, this was all over social media um, when Martel and Melody was going at it. And also, when this young lady now post all her receipts that she had. And at the end, I'm going to put um, what she had said. But it's just to show how sick Kosla and Martel is. In Martel, we said it. If we said it once, we've said it twice. You continually trying to come for Mel, trying to bring her down, try to use your side chick to bring her down, and nothing that either one of y'all did worked. The fact that you would conspire with Kosla to tell her to put out a y'all's tape on each other, you are you are a different type of sick. You are a different type of sick. Do you honestly think that anyone is going to support a conniving, trifling, good for nothing, you little slime, you, you the 
devil. You are the devil's spawn, Martel, to even try to have coleslaw, which I know if it wasn't for Miss Carlson, she would have put that video out. She would have created it because there's no way. And, and she ain't lying because when you see some of the comments, even under Mel's page, you could tell that's either Martel or coleslaw talking on that video or in that comment section. This dude was willing to go to make his lies that he made up on Mel. And you notice when he was, him and um, Maurice and that guy that got off the show that allegedly did something to someone, when they were talking, that's when you heard Martel trying to talk about how Mel cheated. He had never once say Mel cheated on him or did anything to him until him and Coleslaw and he tried to spread that narrative. He tried to spell that line. When he realized that his lies wasn't sticking, you plan to put a revenge porn out on your ex-wife. Move your dirty blood clot, your bad-minded witch, Afro, your wicked demonic serpent, yo. Now that I think about it, guys, can you imagine if Mel didn't have a praying mother or her, her um, surroundings filled with prayer? Can you imagine what Coleslaw and Martel would have been planning against the mother of his four beautiful kids. Nigga, if I hear you say that one more time, you are not going to... You see them suits that you're trying to sell? Oh, my God. I mean, talking about your enemy. Your enemy. You, you, you go on all these things trying to get Mel's back trying to send her flowers, trying to ruin her at the same time. Nigga, you the devil's second cousin. I'm just glad that God delivered Melody from you. From you. You manipulative. Oh my God. Guys, let me play Carlson's video at the end of this. And again, I believe her. And... That's all I'm going to say about this anymore. I believe her. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. And I'll talk to you again in my next video. Bye. At Respond, she actually called me. She told me the cable companies that she uses and says it's, like, different for different areas. Boom. But then she was sounding a little distressed. And this is what she said to me. I said, what's wrong with you? She said, Martel. And let me be clear. Let me say this now so that it is very clear. I did not hear Martel say this. I did not see Martel say what I'm about to tell y'all. But this is what Ariane said to me. And I put this on my four kids. And this is why I cut all communication off with Ariane. She said, Martel said, no, she was like, huh, Martel wants me to make a fake page and post as a guy and post a video of Melody giving him head, but wants me to act like I'm a different guy. I said, what? I'm like, what? She said, Martel wants her to create a fake page acting like a guy and to upload a video of Melody. Actually, he's, she's actually giving her husband head in the video. But she, I, I'm assuming, now I did not see this video, okay? But I'm assuming, what I am assuming is that Martel must not be in the video. If he felt comfortable enough to even ask her to do this, he must not be in the video. So if y'all think I'm lying, what y'all should do the same way y'all been harassing me is go ask Melody. Do you have a video giving your husband head? Go ask her that. So let me finish, though, me and her dialogue of what happened with this conversation. Because I want to make this very clear why I cut her off. Because y'all kept saying, what what made your morals kick in then? You're ask so not that not the asking me. First, she's just telling me what Martel said. And I do want to be honest. She did say, I do not want to do it. Like, I don't want to do this. But Martel is mad at me. I'm like, he's mad at you. I'm like, that's crazy. She like, I know. And I'm telling him, like, let me think about it. And he's mad because he feels like I should just listen to him and do what he's telling me to do. I'm like, damn, that's fucked up. So, and I, I'm not saying nothing. I'm just letting her vent at this point. But then she says this. And this is when I kind of start looking at her crazy. And I knew right there we couldn't be friends no more. She said, what do you think I should do? What do I think you should do? And I'm going to tell y'all what I told her verbatim. I said, listen, that woman is a Scorpio, just like me. I said, if there is a video of her giving Martel head, 
she knows about it. And I said, and I'm gonna let you know right now, Martel, he going through it. So he's probably in his mind thinking she's out here doing what she was doing to him with everybody else. And that's what he's banking on. I said, but one thing about Scorpios, if we allowed you to record us, we know when it happened, where it happened, what you had on, what it smelled like, what we was doing, what we was wearing. And I said, and the first thing that Melody is going to say is, duh, that's me and my husband. That's not another man. And then I said, and then I want you to also know this. Then she's going to go legal because she's going to be so pissed that a fake page pretending to be another man uploaded a video of her and Martell. So I said, what will that leave? I said, if she goes legal, that's called revenge porn. And I said, you know what will happen after that? I said, Mar Martell will have only one to two options. He can, one, come on there and lie and be like, that's not me, Mel lying. She giving head to somebody else. But if Mel stays adamant that that is her and him, then the only other thing would be, how did a video of me and you, Martell, get in somebody's possession? Who could have gotten that video out of your phone? And I said, you know what will happen? He will have to throw you under the bus. It will then be, my mistress stole a video of me and my wife from out of my phone. And uploaded it to a fake page, trying to expose both of us. And then it would have been Mel and Martel versus you. I said, do not do that shit. Leave that up to Martel if that's what he wants to do. And she was like, I know, I know it's mad, but he's just mad at me. Martel gets on my fucking nerve. So this is what she's saying. Hold on, guys. I can't... Girls, please go play. Okay. My baby's not even used to hearing me, like, just talking real loud and cussing like that. So, at that moment... I start looking at her crazy because I'm from Detroit and I know skeechy. I know skeechy females, right? But not that I necessarily felt Ariane was skeechy. I felt that at that point, you're too controllable. You're too, I don't know the extent of what you or him are capable of. If you even had to ask me, what do I think? So basically what I took it as is if I would have been like, yeah, Ariane, I think you should listen to your man. She would have posted it. I told her what I told her because I knew. I mean, listen, let me tell you something. I read people for a living, all right? I knew what was going to happen. He was going to have to turn on Ariane. It was going to have to become him and Melody versus Ariane. But that's neither here nor there. If y'all don't believe me, y'all need to go ask Melody. Is there some type of video out there like this of her and her husband?